Well, it's bittersweet for me here. I mean, I love being here in Joburg, but obviously it's the last test, maybe the last day. Uh, so it's been, I've had so many wonderful times over the years following England, being part of the Barmy Army. Um, but it feels like it's the right time, all good things have to come to an end and I, I don't want to outstay my welcome and, you know, be, yeah, be here when I'm sort of nearly 60, fat and bright red and thinking I should have gone years ago. So um, it's hard with a wife and kids at home now for me to come away for a long time um, every year. So yeah, it's the right time I think. So I'm going to go now, this is going to be my last one, but I want to say thank you to everyone. I've had so many lovely messages from everyone in the Barmy Army. All the people I've met on tour over the years, I've had messages from people you know, I met last year, but people I haven't seen for 15 years who were on my first tours back in the day. So it's, it's been lovely. Um, so really appreciate this, that kind of support and also the support that's always, always had out the ground. There's no point in me just playing the trumpet on my own. It relies on everyone else to join in and sing. So all that support over the years, that's, that's the way we can make something special. So thank you. Yeah, well, I met Bill in uh, 2004 in the West Indies um, on his first tour. And I think we've been pretty much at each other's side ever since. Um, some fantastic memories on tour, many that can't be repeated here now, but um, yeah, I think you'd be sorely missed amongst the Barmy Army and the England cricket team. His ability to engage and be topical at all times will be, will be missed, um, but I'm sure he'll be back on tour, probably without the trumpet, so I look forward to sharing a beer with him then. Yeah, first and foremost, mate, thank you so much for all your support over the years. Um, you are a treasure to the Barmy Army and therefore the England cricket team. You've picked us up when we've had our hardest sessions and our hardest days. You've got the crowd going again when it's got a bit quiet. And uh, I personally would like to thank you for, for all your efforts and support over so many years as well. I didn't actually realise it was as long as it has been. So, a hell of a career with the Barmy Army. I uh, hope you enjoy retirement. Um, well, retirement from the Barmy Army. Spend some time with your family. Uh, and all the best mate. Just thank you Billy, you've been absolutely incredible. He's been around for as long as I've been touring. Just the atmosphere he creates, everything he does, just goes above and beyond, he's been brilliant. Billy, well, for the, enough. Probably for the last 10 years I think I've known you for the, not just the fun days out at the cricket, but for the fun drunken nights with everyone as well. I uh, can't thank you enough for making the last 10 years very, very fun. Um, Sad to see you leave, but hopefully you'll join us on lots of future tests. It won't be the same without you if you don't come, so you really don't have a choice. You, you have to be there. But thank you. Thank you, Billy. Billy, you are amazing. Your support has been something that we have cherished for that many years, and to have played for England, and to have heard the dedication that you applied to that post. I know you couldn't get into some grounds, and the grounds that you couldn't get into, we missed you. Go well, buddy. Bill, I've known you since my first day I started touring in the Ashes 667. You have been absolutely amazing, holding everything together, bringing us up when we're high, keeping your spirits high when things aren't going so well. You're really, we're really going to miss you, uh, not only for your trumpet playing, but for your um, bowling, maybe, should we say, and your uh, dawn patrols and your uh, inability to drink um, beer and uh, your ability to always be the last one to down a shot. Best of luck for the future, my friend. I can't believe, Billy, I can't believe it's all over. Um, you've done, actually, you have done a brilliant job. You really have done a brilliant job with the Barmy Army. Uh, you've kind of controlled and at times they've even sounded well, musical, which is an amazing achievement. Well done. Um, memories of our times together. Well, you floundering around, obviously, just off the beach in Sri Lanka, looking for your mouthpiece when you walked into the water slaughtered. Uh, and you actually dared to play. When Emma and I came to Barmy Army Evening, and a very nice night, you, you had the audacity to play, is she really going out with him at the end of the evening? That, that, that hurt me, hurt me to the core, Billy. Um, but I'll forgive you. Hey, listen, I know it won't be the end because I know what you musicians are like. Just look at Frank Sinatra. Uh, how many comebacks are there going to be? So I suggest it won't be long before we see you again. But well played, mate. Always enjoyed your company. He's been the biggest asset to the Barmy Army over the last 25 years. Full stop. What an absolute legend. It's been a pleasure to be sat around and near him. He's going to be a huge loss. Can't thank him enough. And let's hope we go out on a massive victory and a 3-1 series win. Thanks, Toby. 16 years of Eric, 
thank God Billy the Trumpet is going, no, I'm only kidding, you know my thoughts on the Barmy Army ever since I first played 94, 95. I've seen how the Barmy Army has grown and Billy the Trumpet is part of that. He's been fantastic uh, supporter of English cricket. I wish him all the best. And that rendition this morning, he thought it was going to be his last, but the way we're going, we might get one more because this South African batting lineup are fighting till the end. So Billy, happy retirement son. Good luck. Um, my message for Bill is, mate, I've made some, lots of decisions in 25 years of the Barmy Army. One of the best ones I've ever made was signing you up as a trumpet player 16 years ago, mate. You're going to be missed. Um, it won't just be another trumpet player. It'll probably have to be a whole band to do what you've done, mate. You don't know how much we appreciate what you've done, and good luck in the future, mate, with whatever you do. Just like to say, all good luck and all best wishes to you, all your family on your retirement, your semi-retirement, shall we say, because I think we might catch you up at a cricket ground somewhere around the world in the future. Maybe you might not have your trumpet with you, but you'll still always be one of the family. And while I've been travelling with the Barmy Army, you've made my time such a happy place to be, so many happy memories, and good luck, and we won't forget you. And I shall look out for you, Albert Hall, next time the proms are on, the proms sold out, I'll oh, know it's because you'll be playing the trumpet. Good luck, Billy. Great friend, great mate, good to know you. Bill, thank you so much for everything that you've done for me and for the Barmy Army over the last 16 years, but personally five years. Since knowing you, it's been an absolute privilege. You're an absolute inspiration to trumpeters all over the world. I get asked often if they can meet you, if they can come and see you and speak to you to learn a little bit about the industry. I'm sure you'll go on to just as big, better things all the way right to the top, mate. So thank you so much for your service. You're an absolute gen and looking forward to seeing you in the stands again very soon. <laughs> Cheers. Billy, thank you so much for everything you've done uh, for me, for the Barmy Army and for English cricket. You're an absolute gentleman and an incredible trumpeter and we will miss you greatly. So all the best, mate. Um, I'm sure you're looking forward to spending a bit more time with your young family um, and thanks again.